Part 2, Chapter 10 Tom Boutier and Chef Raidmaker leaned forward, neither of them speaking. Chris Unwin sat with his head down, talking monotonously to the floor. There was, This was the part they wanted to hear. This was the part that was going to send at least two of these assholes to Thomaston. The fair wasn't no good, Unwin said. They was already taking down all the bitchin' rides, you know, like Devil Dish and the Parachute Drop. They already had a sign on the bumper cars that said closed. Wasn't nothing open but baby rides. So he went down by the games, and Webby saw the pitch till he win, and he paid 50 cents, and he seen that the queer was wearing, and he pitched at that. But he kept missing it, and every time he missed it, he got more in a bad mood, you know. And Steve, he's the guy who usually goes around saying mellow out, like mellow out this and mellow out that, and why don't you fucking mellow out, you know? Only he was in a real piss up a rope mood, because he took this pill, you know? I don't know what kind of pill, a red pill, maybe it was even legal, but he keeps after Webby until I thought Webby was gonna hit him, you know? He goes, you can't even win that quiz hat. You must really waste it if you can't miss the quiz hat. So finally, the lady gives him a prize, even though the ring wasn't over it, because I think she wanted to get rid of us. I don't know, maybe she didn't, but I think she did. It was a noisemaker thing, you know. You blow it and it puffs up and unrolls and makes a noise like a fart. You know, I used to have one of those. I got it for Halloween or New Year's or some fucking holiday, I thought it was pretty good, only I'd lost it, or maybe someone hooked it out of my pocket in the fucking play yard at school, so then the fair's closing, and we're walking out, and Steve's still on Webby about not being able to win that quiz hat, you know, and Webby ain't saying much, and I know that's a bad sign, but I was pretty faced, you know, so I knew I ought to like, change the subject, only I couldn't think of no subject, so when we get into the parking lot, Steve says, where you wanna go? Home? And Webby goes, let's cruise by the Falcon first and see if that queer's around. Boutier and Raidmaker exchanged a glance. Boutier raised a single finger and tapped it against his cheek. Although this doofus in the engineer boots didn't know it, he was now talking about first degree murder. So I goes, no, I gotta get home. And Webby goes, you scared to go by that queer bar? And I go, fuck no. And Steve's still high or something. And he says, let's go grease some queer meat. Let's go grease some queer meat. Let's go grease.